We have been living paycheck to paycheck every single year of our marriage. This summer, we will have been married for nine years. We've always paid all of our bills on time, but during emergencies, we've struggled every single time. We had a tiny bit set aside, but it never really went very far. We even went to Mexico with plans of paying off our debt, but we actually came back with more debt than when we left. Every month we had barely enough money. And some months there was actually more month than money. And those were the months that we had to use the overdraft. Now I've talked about the overdraft a lot because that was our financial plan for a long, long time. Some people it's credit cards, us it was overdraft. But whenever we'd use overdraft the next month, we'd tighten it back up and we'd be okay again. Every single month was like this. Hey guys, I'm Wendy Valencia, and if you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. On my channel, we talk about doing difficult things like getting out of debt or losing weight with humor and a positive attitude. So as you heard in my intro, our financial plans were cyclical. One month great, one month horrible. One month great, one month horrible. And the great month was us bailing ourselves out of the horrible month. We never made any headway on our debt. I mean, we paid the payments and because most of our debt is loans, we always, you know, did fine, but we never, we never got out of debt like we had always planned. When I started budgeting like, I don't know, six, seven years ago, I thought that was the key to making our money work for us, but I was missing a major element. I was never reconciling our budget, ever. So we walked every dollar and it was super easy to connect to my bank accounts and voila, instant reconciliation. Since we do use the cash envelope system, absolutely, we highly recommend it. Um, there are just some things that we always will use our cards for. Gas is one of them. Online shopping. Those things we're gonna always use our debit cards for. So the cash envelopes works great, but in one of my major overspending categories, Amazon, I use my debit card. So if I overspend on Amazon, I'm over budget. So with reconciling every dollar, it's just a drag and a drop, a drag and a drop. You know, the charge comes through and you put it in a category. So I realized when we started every dollar pretty quickly actually, that we had actually overcommitted our money. So when we realized we had an income problem, we sat down and hashed out a plan, a plan for the future of our family, a plan to get out of debt and finally have more money than money. So how did we do it? Cause I know a lot of people have been in the same situation and can't figure out how can we bring up our income and lower our expenses. So we took some pretty simple steps, which sound really easy conceptually, but they're really quite difficult. And we took them slowly and now we're making headway for the first time in our entire married life. And these steps were key to our success. The first thing we did is we cut our expenses because we realized that we were spending like a thousand dollars a month that we hadn't put into the budget and we kept cutting. And once we got to the point where we were actually kind of uncomfortable, we knew we were getting close to where we needed to be. And honestly, even now we actually make cuts, tightening up the budget all the time. In fact, last month, I we've been doing this eight months, I just cut out like $25 more out of the budget. One thing I've discovered in this process is that it gets shockingly easy to start cutting things out of the budget when you can see that you're making headway. So the second step, we decided to stay with my parents for far longer than we had anticipated. If you're new to my channel, we moved in with my parents 16 months ago. Our plan was to only stay until Mauricio got a regular paying job. While that hasn't happened yet, I don't know that we'll be leaving as soon as he gets one. And honestly, staying here has probably been the smartest financial decision that we've ever made in our entire lives. So third, we knew we had to get the income up. So Mauricio and I sat down and talked and talked and talked. And we decided actually he was going to have to start working a lot. And finally, we had to actually stick to our budget every month. No extraneous expenses. If it's not in the budget, it doesn't happen, period. Okay, so if you've watched my channel for 
even more than five minutes, you know that that's not the truth. That stuff happens and we go over budget and we screw up and you know what? We're human. But what I did learn pretty quickly is that the best way to keep us on track budgeting wise is actually reconciling the budget. Every morning I get on my computer, first thing, I'm still in my pajamas, log on to every dollar, and I drag and drop all of the charges from the previous day. We had a budget for most of our married life and we never got out of debt. And for the first time we're reconciling and the reconciliation is what's getting us out of debt. I promise you, if you are not reconciling your budget, you have to be. So are you in the same situation that I was? Like maybe you have more month than money? Do you? have no clue how you're gonna get out. If you don't, I actually suggest you look in a few key areas. Is your budget as bare bones as it can be? Can you move into a cheaper place? Maybe sell the house that you're in. Sure, you might like it, you might not wanna move, but sometimes you have to make the sacrifices. If you don't wanna move, maybe you get a second or a third job. It's not gonna be forever, y'all. It's just while you're in baby step two and maybe baby step three. It depends on how hardcore you get by the time you're done with baby step two. Or maybe you sell some stuff to pay off that first debt to get the, the snowball rolling. Or maybe you sell your car and buy a Dave car. You know, that junker that that old lady who lives down the street from you has that has been sitting in her garage for like 20 years and it runs perfectly and it's got like 20 miles on it. Maybe you offer a thousand dollars and you buy that car and get rid of your high priced car payment. And then of course, finally, if you haven't gotten it from the rest of this video, reconciling your budget. Don't just make a budget, reconcile it. Try and reconcile every day, but if you can't do it, do it every couple of days. Don't go for weeks at a time without reconciling. Don't even go a week. In fact, I don't ever go over two or three days because what happens is the farther you get away from when you make the purchase, the less you remember what it is. And you think, oh, I don't spend that much money. I'm, I'm gonna remember, trust me. If it's a couple of days out, you probably won't remember what it is. Reconciling will save you from going over budget so frequently. And living paycheck to paycheck is scary. What if something horrible happens? Who wants to have that? Murphy's gonna move in. Trust me, I know Murphy, Murphy likes to camp out in the guest room. Look closely at your situation because you can make changes. It worked for us. And if it worked for us, it can work for you too. Those of you in baby step two who've been doing it a while or maybe three, four or five, six and oh, 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 baby step seven, let me know down below the changes that you made so you could have more money than month. So you could have that extra money to put towards that. What was the biggest change you made so you could make strides to go forward? If you're new to my channel, please make sure to click that subscribe button down below and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.